What's this for anyway? Makers wanted. Is that the show where C three PO gives you good advice, and then the Wookiee yells at you for sucking at woodworking? This is a show about the lighter side of making. This is Makers Wanted. Welcome back, Makers. Let's get this show started. First, let's pull a question from the bag and let the Canadian have at it. I'm just being helpful. <laughs> I'm just being helpful. Is there a difference between regular screws and pocket hole screws? Hang on. I don't know how. <laughs> no. We're never in short supply of industry professionals. We have experienced Canadians, well-versed Brits, and some of us even have PhDs. Doc's order. Alright, I get asked the question a lot. Hey, I have a lot of extension cords in my shop, but what can I do to, you know, make them a little stronger, hot rod them up a little bit, make them work better? Well, I'll tell you what, I'll show you how with just these items that you probably already have in your shop. Let's go to the bench, I'll show you how. All right, here we go. So, extension cord right here. First thing you wanna do is, see this is a three prong. You wanna get rid of this third prong, okay? Cause it's, it's gonna do nothing but cause your problems in the long run. What we do is you grab it by the base, you give it one spin left, one spin right, and then you just break it right off, okay? Save this, this is important. Use that later. And the other thing, okay. Now, a lot of the times these cords are made like this, very, very stiff. What you want to do is you want to take a razor knife, right? Bring it all the way around. Okay. What that'll do is this will make a tight 90 now. You can stick it all the way against the wall, right? Don't have to worry about it. This just looks, it's too new. You can't, you can't have stuff in your shop that looks too new. So what you do is you take your tape. Now, your first reaction is going to be to go very uniform. That's not right. Here's why. Electricity is alternating current. So you want to alternate your loops when you do this. All right, well, I hope that helps you out. Until next time, get out to your shop and be safe. Doc's orders. Your primary care provider isn't going to give you that kind of know-how. Your tools suck. Don't believe me? This is the best advice. I got this covered. This is for all the makers out there that have a YouTube channel. We've all seen that comment. If I had your tools, I could do the same thing. As if owning the tool or owning a high quality tool somehow makes you a better maker. We all know the truthfulness of that, don't we? It's 100% true. What you'll need to do is get rid of all of your tools and upgrade to the most expensive, highest quality versions you can find. Then you'll instantly become better. And if you don't trust me, this is all true because of reasons and science. If you're still on the fence, also know that your design ability will go through the roof. You'll have absolute knowledge of all joinery methods. You'll understand which adhesives work on which materials. The knowledge across the board will just go up and you'll be proficient at everything. You just need the most expensive, highest quality tool out there. Who has time for learning? Who has time for practicing? That's all you need. They've been saying it for years. If I had that tool, I could do the same thing. It turns out to be true. Take this good advice, run with it, Upgrade your shop, become an expert instantaneously. It's true. Sources? Nah. Okay, let's get serious for a moment. Proper ventilation and PPE, or personal protective equipment, is important when working around strong chemicals. Improper or complete lack of use may cause severe... 
Don't be a dummy. Suit up. Cheerio! The dog's bollocks. To express that something or someone that you think is extremely good. These crumpets are the dog's bollocks. I get it. Like, this episode was the hog's wallet. Well, it was. Don't believe me? Start it over. Watch it again. Hit the like button. Share it around. Send a check to... Four